Hello everybody, welcome back to the video series lecture of PPS and that is Programming for Problem Solving. My name is Jinal Jhala and I am your instructor of this subject. In previous video, we had already started our third module that is Control Structure and in this control structure, we have to learn total 5 different types of conditional statements or we can say decision making statement. And we have already learned our first three conditional statement that is simple if statement, if else statement and nested if else statement. Uh, simple if statement and if else statement are used for a single condition where nested if else, else if later statement and switch are mainly used for multiple conditions uh, statement. And in previous video, we had already seen nested if else statement. Today, in this video lecture, we are going to start with our fourth statement that is else if later statement. First of all, what do you mean by later? Later means combination of stairs, right? Multiple stairs is called as a later. Same way, in this else if later statement, we can use multiple conditions together. We can use n number of conditions and how we can write else if later statement. So first of all, just see the syntax. First condition we can write using if statement. So if in bracket first condition. Here we have a multiple condition. So our first condition is called as condition one. Then second is called as a condition two. In this way, we can use n number of condition. Now we can write second condition using else if statement. So just write else then space then if and in bracket condition 2. And if this condition become true then statement associated with particular condition will be executed. Suppose this condition 2 become false then check for another condition and we can write third number of condition using again else if. So, suppose you have a 5 different condition, then first condition we have to write in if statement, that if condition 1, then remaining 4 conditions are we have to write using else if, means else if condition 2, else if condition 3, else if condition 4. Now, we have a 4 different condition, but is it possible that all the condition become false? In this case, we have to write our else statement. And else statement is nothing but our false part. Or here we can say that it is a default statement. And after else if later, the next statement will be executed. So here just to see in the syntax that suppose our first condition become true, then statement one will be execute and directly our control goes to the next statement. The remaining condition will not be checked. But if your first condition become false, then in this case, second condition will be checked. And then after, if this condition become true, then our control goes to the next statement after executing statement number two. In this way, else if later will work. Let's see the diagram of else if later, how we can represent the syntax in the diagram form. So first of all, first condition. So we have to write in diamond condition one. And if this condition become true, then statement 1 will be executed and then after directly next statement will be executed. But if your condition 1 become false, then after check for the next condition that is condition 2. And if this condition become true, then statement 2 will be executed and then after control goes to the next statement. But if condition 2 become also false, then in this case check for the another condition that is condition number 3. If this condition become true, then statement 3 associated with this condition will be executed and then control goes to the next statement. But if this condition become false, then last condition we can say that condition n will be checked and if it is true then statement number n will be executed but if all the condition become false then our else part will be executed and in else part we have to write our default statement 
So the default statement will be execute and then after our control goes to the next statement. So at a time only one statement will be executed where our condition become true. So you can see the diagram it is in the form of ladder. That's why we can say that it is a else if ladder. Just look like the ladder that's why. Now let's see the statement with one example or we can say one program. So the definition of program is like print the given number is positive, negative or zero. Means what we have to do here, we have to enter one number and we have to check that we have a enter one number. It is a positive, it is a negative, it is a zero or we have a enter valid number or not. So first of all, uh, first statement is our header file. So first include the header file. Then after all logic we have to write in main function. So write the function void main. Then after here we have to check for only single number. So declare one number that is integer a. You can take any of the name of your variable and I want to enter the value of that number from the user. So we have to use scanf function, right? So first we have to write printf that enter number. Then after scanf and in scanf we have to write percentage %d and m percent %a. Now just think uh, how many conditions we have to write here. So we can decide it from our definition. So we have to check that our number is positive, negative and zero. So we have to write three different condition, one for positive, one for negative and one for zero. And first condition we can write using if statement. So how we can write it? So first write if and our variable is a. So a greater than zero is our first condition. So this condition is checked for positive number. Suppose I am enter the value of a is 5, then 5 greater than 0, condition true, yes. So in this case, our statement is like printf, a is positive. Next, uh, check for another condition that else if and all remaining condition we have to write using else if statement. So write else, then space, then if and in bracket a less than 0 then in this case we can say that it is a negative number. So in printf a is negative. Now for 0 how we can write the condition again write the else if statement and in bracket a is equal to equal to 0. Why double equal to because when we use relational operator for comparison then the sign for equal to is double equal to. Single equal to is used for assignment operator. So just remember this thing. So if a is equal to else if a is equal to equal to 0 then printf a is 0. What we can write in else part? Suppose I am enter capital A instead of any integer value then our message will like enter only numeric value because we can check positive, negative and 0 only for numeric value not for any character value right. So in else we can write that enter only numeric value. This is called as our default statement. Now how it will execute? So we have a total four types of output possible. Suppose see the output enter a number suppose I am enter 10 then first check the condition 10 greater than 0 condition true then uh, it will print a is positive then remaining condition will not become true for 10 because 10 less than 0 false 10 is equal to equal to 0 false else part will not execute because already our first if is executed here now check for another value so the second output is like enter number and I am entering minus 5. So check for first condition but minus 5 greater than 0 here our first condition become false. That's why it will check for second one 
and our second condition is a less than 0 so minus 5 less than 0 condition true so in this case our output is like a is negative now check for another value suppose i am enter number 0 then our first condition 0 greater than 0 condition false then 0 less than 0 again false and third condition 0 is equal to 0 yes so our third condition become true here so our output is like a is 0 and suppose we enter capital A or any of the alphabet then in this case our all the conditions become false and our message is like enter only numeric value. Suppose you enter C instead of all the numeric value then again your else part will be executed. So in this way else if letter statement is working. Let's see practically. Welcome to the practical session. Uh, let's see one another example using ALSIF letter that the check the definition write a program to print grade according to the following rules. So which rules first of all P, P means P indicate as a percentage. If your percentage greater or equal to 80 then just print the message like distinction. Then if your percentage is between 60 to 80 means percentage greater or equal to 60 and less than 80. In this case we have to print message first class and if your percentage greater or equal to 50 and less than 60 then just print the second class and if your percentage less than 50 then just print fail. So here we can say that multiple conditions are here. So we have to write this program using else if letter. Now first of all how many variables require here? Only single variable. Why? Because we have to check only for one value that is percentage. And which data type we can take here? Is it possible that percentage is in a float that 95.2 is it possible so I am taking one data type float and for percentage I am simply taking variable p and this value this the value of percentage we have to enter from the user so you have to use scanf function so first I am writing printf enter percentage And then scanf which control string use here percentage f because it is float and m person p. Now here our first condition is like our percentage greater or equal to 80 and it is compulsory less or equal to 100 right. So first condition we can write using if. So if our percentage greater or equal to 80 and percentage less or equal to 100. Now here you can see that in if we have write two different condition one for percentage greater or equal to 80 and one for less or equal to 100. But if both the condition compulsory true then and then this if will be executed. So here in between two condition we can use one logical operator that is logical and operator means first and second both the true then and then this if will be executed. So here first write the printf that distinction. So first condition is completed now check for another condition. So our second condition is percentage greater or equal to 60 and less than 80. So how we can write it first write else then space then if in else if write p greater or equal to 60 and again we have to use logical and operator p less than 80. In this case 
we can write printf first class. So printf first class. Same thing we have to write for 50 to 60. So again use else if and our condition is like p greater or equal to 50 and p less than 60. In this case you have to write second class. So printf second class. And if uh, these all the condition become false then we can say that our percentage is less than 50. So in else I am writing printf that fail. So here we have write total three different condition. You can also write p less than 50 in uh, one another else if statement. But for code optimization I am writing like this way. Now execute the program. Run the program. So here enter percentage. Suppose I am enter 95.6 then the output is distinction. Check for another value. If I am enter 56 then it is a second class. Check for another value. Suppose I am enter 30.66 then obviously our output is like fail. So you can see on the screen output is fail. So in this way we can use else if later statement for multiple conditions. Hope guys you understand this lecture very well. If you have any query then you can contact me anytime. We will meet soon in next video with switch statement. Till then take care bye bye thank you so much.